Now we want to fit a stochastic differential equation to data. So what we are going to do essentially is we are going to simulate some data and then try to fit a stochastic differential equation to it. So the method which we are going to use is quasi-maximal likelihood estimation. And uh, this is a standard technique, maximum likelihood estimation, uh, which tries to fit a given uh, differential equation to a data. So what we are going to do is we are going to simulate this WASI check model which we have done multiple times before. Again, the long term mean is mu, speed of reversion is theta, instantaneous velocity is sigma. So we're going to simulate this model and then try to fit this model uh, on the simulated data. So first, if you want to read arbitrary data, so you start with package UIMA and uh, you want to read some data. So you can read a CSV file so for example, you can uh, go to this link, which is basically takes uh, data of Google for the past one month and downloads it into an Excel file. So if you type this link in your uh, address bar, you will get an Excel sheet, which will download onto your PC from Yahoo, which just captures the share prices for Google. So in this share prices, you will have a column for close. So I'm setting D as the column corresponding to the closing of uh, Google share prices. So this is how you set the data. If you want to set your own data, so this could be interest rates or something. Now we are not going to do this. This is just an example of how to set your data. We are going to focus on this part. So you're going to set the model as before. You know, you have your drift theta times mu minus x, you have diffusion, which is sigma, your state variable is x, time variable is t, and say initial value is 0.5. So you simulate this, so you have simulated this, then before you fit, now this part is for fitting data. So here we are going to fit data to our SDE. So you got to initialize it. So you initialize the value, say you take mu as 0 0.05, sigma as 0 0.5, theta as one, and you have to give a lower bound and an upper bound. So I'm giving lower bound mu as zero, upper bound for mu as 0 0.2, lower bound for sigma as zero, upper bound for sigma as two, lower bound of theta as zero, upper bound for theta as three. This is the command for QMLD is the command for fitting the stochastic differential equation. So this, this is going to start at the initial point and then it will search between the lower bound and the upper bound for the best possible uh, maximum likelihood. And then you can see the summary which we are going to run. Now note of caution. So since we are simulating data, every time you simulate it and you run summary of MLA, you will get different values. And in the real world, we have only one simulation. So you have just one simulation from the past data. So past data is just one simulation because that's the way it evolved. So this is just one simulation. And one simulation is actually not enough to correctly determine the values of theta, mu, and sigma. So if you if you have say interest rates in the past and you want to find theta mu and sigma and you do this maximum likelihood, likelihood estimation it not, might not give you the correct values of theta mu and sigma because uh, the stochastic differential equation which generated those uh, that one particular path might not give you the correct estimate because there could be a thousand such paths or ten thousand such paths which can give you exact value so even if you have the parameters from this maximum likelihood, so you can keep running the simulation again and again and use, you can see what I mean to say. So you have to make a qualitative judgment on what parameters you have to use here, irrespective of what results you get here. I mean, they should be close to what you get in maximum likelihood estimation, but uh, it, it is not uh, possible to match what you get here with these parameters here. So let us see this in R. So I'm going to run this model in R. 
So we are just going to run this part. So notice that theta is coming out to be 1.9. We set it at 2. Sigma is coming out to be 0.2. And mu is also coming out to be 0.2. So notice that mu we set as 0.1. But the value you are getting as is 0.2. Theta we set as 2. We are getting as 1.9. Sigma we set as 0.2. You are getting 0.21. So notice at least for mu we are not getting the correct value. So we can simulate this again. And now you see theta is 3. So the value we set theta was 2 here. Here the value is 3. So it is not exactly correct. Sigma is again 0.19. You have 0.2 here. And mu is now coming to be 0.11. Now since we are simulating, you can simulate it as many times as you feel like. But in the real world, you just have one simulation. And on that one simulation, you have to find these estimates. So it is extremely important to understand that these estimates are not going to be correct, you have to make a qualitative judgment about these estimates.